Welcome to the class. So today we are going to be working on drop back back bends, which is really exciting. So we will be doing bridges from standing. So let's begin. So coming down onto your front, we're going to spend a bit of time here to warm up the back before we move into our bridges and back bends. So taking your hands behind your body, interlacing your fingers, squeezing your shoulder blades together, drawing the chest up as high as you can as you bring your hands all the way back. Let's do 10. Relax the hands. We're going to do another set of 10. This time, try and raise the chest even higher. Imagine that you're trying to touch the floor between your legs. So you're trying to touch the mat. Really focus on that expansion of the chest and that height also of the upper body. Keeping your legs strong and stable. relaxing the back now, dropping the hands. Pressing your hands into the mat, pushing the floor away. Coming into a four point kneeling position and then pulling the belly in towards the spine as you bring the hips down in a wave like motion. So we want to fully engage all areas of the spine. Slow and controlled movements. back into four-point kneeling position, neutralizing the spine, tucking the toes under, coming into downward facing dog. And in your downward dog, let's take one leg all the way up towards the sky, bending the knee, and then bringing the knee to the opposite wrist, so actually touching the wrist, and then sending the leg all the way up. Let's do five of these. Taking the leg down, let's repeat that on the other side. Knee to opposite wrist. bringing both legs down onto the mat, knees to the floor, taking one leg forward coming into lunge and in your lunge just squaring off your hips, squaring your shoulders and if there's any tension in your hip flexor then just sending your breath your oxygen towards that area that is resistant. Let's 
placing your hands on your front knee and then bending the leg, moving it in towards your glutes and back. So let's do about 10 of these. Pumping the heel in towards the body. Nice, relax the leg. Pressing your hands into the floor, curling those back toes under, and then coming into a pyramid stretch. Allowing your body to move over that front leg. Bringing your hands back the way towards that back leg. Palms to the floor or fingertips. Just breathing into the back of your hamstrings, observing any tension, any stiffness. Nice, and coming down. Let's switch sides now. Coming into lunge on the opposite side. And firstly, just take a moment to settle into your lunge. Noticing with each and every breath, your hips start to open more. And then holding onto your knee or pushing your knee away from you, keeping your body nice and upright and long. Begin to take the leg in and back. Relax the leg to the floor. Begin to transition into pyramid pose. Stretching the hamstrings, bringing your hands away from you, focusing on straight arms, palms to the floor or fingertips, whatever's reachable for you today. So we're going to move towards a puppy pose. Firstly, placing hands on elbows, taking your arms forward, and then begin to work into your puppy pose. So using your breath to allow the chest to move deeper towards the floor.
slowly coming out. Let's take a couple of blocks now, placing the blocks side by side onto the mat, bringing your elbows onto the blocks, palms together, and firstly, let's extend the arms, drawing your chest down. And then begin to bend your arms, taking your chest away from the mat now. We're going to come into another variation of puppy pose. So each time we do these, we are stretching different areas of the upper body. So palms are together, the elbows have separated just a little bit. And then you're going to sink your chest down, allowing the upper arms, the triceps to open. And your aim is to touch the floor with your chest. This might take some time. So just using your breath to open up your upper body. release your arms and from here we're going to move towards camel position we'll start by warming up in our camel with an exercise called dancing camel so you're going to take your arm bring it up and over your head as you expand your chest bring your arm back so the other hand is going to be pushing against the floor and your hips are going to move forward so it's going to look something like this and then you're going to take it towards the other side. Each time you try to get more and more push with your hips so that you can really open up in that camel position, getting a really nice stretch to the front of the body. Let's go. coming to stillness good job so next in our camel we're going to come up so the hips are away from the floor your arms and your palms are open so palms facing forward taking the arms back and then opening up in your camel and bringing your arms all the way back but inviting a back bend this time so I will show you now taking the arms all the way back, pushing your hips forward. Crossing your wrists and bringing your arms forward. So the hand movement is quite essential. Opening the palms, bringing your, bringing your body back, expanding your chest and your back, and then bringing your arms forward as you cross your wrists. So let's try that. couple more. Good. 
good. So if you continue to repeat that exercise, then over time, you will be able to drag the hands along the floor in a really deep back bend. So keep practicing that exercise. It's a really valuable one for back bends and camels. And let's begin with our wheel practice, our bridge practice. So coming into your bridge, by lying on your back, bringing your palms to the floor, pushing your weight into your hands and feet. Imagine that someone is pulling your hips and your chest up towards the sky. So trying to aim for as much height in your bridge as you can. Let's look towards the hands. From here, begin to walk the feet in towards the hands. Squeeze the hips up, lengthen through the thighs. And just taking a time here to just observe in your bridge how your body's feeling. Keep coming back to your breathing, allow your breath to flow naturally. And then to come out, stepping your feet away, tucking chin to chest and rolling down the spine. We're going to do three of those, so take your time and try to enhance each one just a little bit, even if it means that you are able to breathe more or that you feel more comfort. It doesn't have to look any different. Feeling is also very important. So coming into bridge, once again. And this time rocking your weight over your wrists. Coming back down and bringing your knees in towards your body. We're going to do that one more time. Pressing your hands into the floor and just noticing how this third bridge is feeling. Perhaps you're feeling more open, more energized than the first bridge. coming out whenever you feel like it and coming up so don't forget if you want to do more bridge practice or any additional stretches or warm-ups then you have the chance to pause the video and do a bit of your own training or any supplement that you need so if your body is feeling open and ready and elastic we're going to do the bridge from standing now. So coming up into a standing position. Today I'm going to teach you one way of getting into it, although there is many. So coming into standing position. Feet are facing forward, feet are parallel. Lengthen through the front of your thighs, pull your abs in. Always think about belly button towards the spine. If you start in a really archy position and bend back, you're more likely to cause harm to the spine. So try your best to keep a solid, strong core. And let's begin by just taking some back bends and gaining that stability in our back bend position from standing. So sliding your hands down your legs 
as much as you can, begin to look up. Drop your head back if you can. And go as far as you can before you feel unsafe or wobbly. Coming back up with care. Nice and slowly and nice mindful controlled movements. So we're going to do that a couple more times. Strong spine, extend the spine to begin with. Slowly begin to push your hips forward as your hands come down the legs. Coming back and just observe and bring your awareness to what it is that you can see. So if you can see the floor, that means you're in quite a deep back bend already. If you're unable to see the floor right now and you can only see the wall behind you, that's okay. What that means is that you might need to bend your knees a little bit more. So you're aiming to try and see the floor so that you know that you're not too far away from it when you drop your hands back. So in this position again that we're going to do, same one, except this time you might want to bring your knees a little bit bent in a kind of soft um, position. And inhaling and exhaling on your descent. So feel free to bend the knees, keep your legs strong, engage your abs, engage your glutes if you need to. From here, you might want to take one hand off your legs and see where it lands. <laughs> so just taking it off, you're keeping everything else nice and stable. See where it is in relation to the floor. And other side. And back. The head comes up last. So as I come back, I'm engaging my core and keeping everything nice and strong. If you feel like this is your maximum and you're not gonna be able to make it to the floor today, then no problem at all. You can continue to do these preparation exercises from standing or work into your back bend, practice more bridges. So if you are ready to do it with me, then this is what we're going to do. We're going to take one arm back at a time using our core strength and the legs strength as well to keep ourselves grounded to the floor bringing your hands back pushing your hips forward using your core and your back muscles so that you're not flopping or falling back breathing in and out Walking your hands a little bit further away from you now. Tucking chin to chest. Bending the arms and rolling down. And let's try that again. Remember, if you didn't reach the final result, don't worry, you have this class forever. Keeping everything nice and strong. Extend the spine, sliding the hands down. Breath in and breath out as you go back. Walking the hands out. Tuck the chin. Roll down the back. Great, so I hope that this class was helpful for you. We're gonna do some gentle cool down exercises just to finish the class off. But if you want to practice more of those drop backs in the way that I just taught you, then feel free to go ahead and do your own practice now before the cool down. So hugging your knees, tucking your chin towards your chest.
bringing your hands back, your back to the floor. And let's do some rocking movements. So hands underneath the knees, rocking forward and back. Let's take a twist. So extend one leg, bend the other foot flat to the floor, taking your opposite arm up and opening up your chest towards the other side, twisting. Other side. Feet together, knees out to the side, taking a breath in and as you exhale, bringing your head towards your feet. And just take a moment here to just be still. Allowing any thoughts of the mind to just pass through. Focusing on the stillness of your body. And just bringing your breath and your nervous system back to normal. And then slowly coming out. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure to teach you. And I hope that that gave you a little more, more insight and grasp into standing back bends. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.